Hey, review family, keep it high, keep it tight. It's Jay Moore, sir. Review guy back again to bring you another video. And in this one, I'm going to be doing my album review for Nicki Minaj's newly released album entitled Queen. And I want to wrap my thoughts up of this album quick because there is only so much I can say about it. So, Nicki Minaj really doesn't need an introduction. Uh, she's been really big in rap, probably. The biggest female rapper up until recently when like people like Cardi B are coming around and there's more female rappers coming into the field. So it's kind of becoming a more uh, like versatile field. Well, Nicki Minaj is someone that uh, has had the occasional single that I've enjoyed, but I've never really been a huge fan of any of her albums. In my opinion, this is a pretty good album. It's about halfway. And it has quite a few shortcomings and some strong parts of it. So, pretty much right away, the first shortcoming that I gotta say is it's 66 minutes long, 19 tracks. And for a rap album, it seems like so many rappers, and it, it probably has something to do with streams, like getting more streams, but rappers have a habit now of making these just super long, super bloated um, albums with just a lot of content that seems like it could be borderline on filler. And some of these tracks to me really do seem like filler. They really do seem like um, the things could have been cut, whole songs could have been taken out of the album, and it probably would have helped the album not really hurt it, because if it would have taken out some of that kind of fluff, it probably would have been a little bit better. So many of these tracks have um, guest features on them, to the point to where I was kind of almost getting bored of it. So I, I'm halfway on rap songs and rap albums having a lot of guest features. Sometimes it can be done to a really cool effect if you bring in people that are uh, like able to embellish on your own sound, if they are close to your sound, if they can relate to your sound. But it really feels like Nicki's just bringing in so many just trendy people, so many just popular people. And, I mean, none of them really stood out to me as good or bad. And I don't know if that's a good thing, but uh, none of the guest features really, like, jumped out at me like, wow, this is a really good guest feature. And none of them really put me off and made me feel like they were making a song weaker by them just being there. So, in these tracks, probably the best things that I can say is that Nikki's vocals are really good. Her flow is some of the coldest flow she's had recently. You can really tell she got into a lot of these lyrics passionately, and that's kind of something else, is the lyrics are fairly strong. Some parts can be a little weak, but there's some interesting double entendre, there's some interesting wordplay, there's some blunt stuff too, and it really does have Nicki Minaj's kind of just uh, goofy staccato type of flow on it, but she actually does flow fairly consistently throughout the whole runtime of this album to the point to where I can't really complain about any of the flow I can't really complain about any of the lyrics. Overall, this is a mix of mellow, spacey, trap, R&B music. And from start to finish, it, it kind of begins to blend together because they're, the mellow songs sound a lot like the other mellow songs, and the hard songs sound like a lot of the other hard songs. And uh, some of Nicki's like, proclamations about being like the Queen and the King Kong and stuff like that, it, they're funny. Uh, I like some of the instrumentals, the very kind of like Asian-y type of, and also like Egyptian feel for some of the instrumentals. Uh, some of the instrumentals are very tasteful, very kind of fresh, not necessarily something we haven't heard before. We have heard some of these types of instrumentals before, but different enough to be a little bit interesting. I gotta give it that. Um, these 19 tracks, there are hits and there are misses. You guys can listen to it for yourself. I feel like it probably should have been shorter. I think it could have been about 30 to 40 minutes and been even better. Some of the guest features to me felt a little out of place, but Nikki makes up for it in terms of flow and lyricism, but um, it's still a mixed bag. From start to finish, for me at least, it's a mixed bag. And because of that, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 because I really feel like it's middle of the road and it really does have uh, good parts and bad parts. But overall, eh, can I say I enjoyed it? I enjoyed parts of it. 
parts of it were enjoyable, other parts were a little hard to listen to, some were a little, uh, I think a lot of these tracks can sometimes drag on a little bit too long as well, reaching the four, five, six minute mark. But anyways, guys, I want to hear what you guys think of this album. If you listen to it, you can listen to it on Spotify, obviously. Uh, post in the comments below what you thought about it, and I will shout your channel out. Like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I'll talk to you guys next time. But until then, my name is Jay Morse, Serve You Guy, and I'm signing off saying farewell.